guys, Stasels here, and today we are playing a game called The Bloodline. Don't forget if you like the videos, hit the like button and subscribe for more. So this is a game that's basically, to me, it seems like it's very much based around kind of Skyrim. Uh, but I think they had other kind of um, things that they based it around, but it is really cool. Uh, so basically, uh, it's an open world RPG uh, with its own style and it's really cool there's so much to this game i don't think i'm gonna be able to cover everything in this video but i'm gonna do my best to kind of showcase off a few of the things that it has in store so uh this is the castle that you were originally kind of starting you're in this place here and uh i've got some quests sort of going on on the side here uh let me just show you quickly we have skill trees uh with a whole ton of stuff this this gets very um in depth okay so all kinds of ranged weapons uh magic um tech as you can see there's a lot of different things going on here and then you have uh your skills here we're in a skill book where you can actually uh drag and drop whatever you want to use onto your bar uh you have two bars you can see here and you just switch between whatever you want but there are weapons as well and you can see here i'm currently this is my inventory screen using a uh, copper claymore uh we've got some gear on and um yeah, this is the inventory screen. We've got all kind of stuff there. And then there's detailed stats that show you all of these things and your you gain XP and stuff. For example, mining, jumping, woodcutting, foraging. Every time you do something, you gain levels. Um, and that then also uh, increases stuff that you do. So um, pretty cool. That's kind of the basics. Um, you have levels obviously level up as well. This is your health. This is your mana. This is your stamina. So a whole lot of stuff going on and... Um, there is a third person mode it has not been expanded upon as of yet though it is uh kind of very early stages so um it's kind of better run in first person for now but uh there's so much you can do for example um you can come over here you can craft potions but you can name your potions so let's say for example i put that in there this has an effect for xp boost for 25 seconds this has an effect for blessed ground for 60 seconds you can effectively mix and match stuff poison for five seconds um enhance jump restore mana so you could mix stuff up and then basically have your own potion poison for 15 seconds improve jump 30 seconds or so yeah there were, where was the jump one we had uh not that one we can make a jump potion basically so if we went for that and that uh and call it i don't know jumpy potion i'm just trying to show you how this kind of works because it's really cool uh and then you create that potion that basically makes that potion and now you have um you have a new potion called jumpy potion so and that's exactly what it does on the um the tin and it saves them into a recipe book as well which is pretty cool so uh where did that go to jumpy potion there we go it has its own little thing and um yeah if you go down here and you go to recipe book um then you can basically like save uh recipes you can write them in uh yeah it's very cool <laughs> So yeah that's that's how cool it is um i think it's pretty pretty awesome to be honest with you and then you just write in your own stuff so it's very customizable pretty awesome um currently i have really only just started so effectively i went out uh i got some copper we're going to talk to this guy so oh okay no i actually have to go mine them never mind so we will go and do that but um i need to build a bakery you can so you can make your own settlements you can build uh basically like towns and stuff going on is is pretty awesome uh there is a day and night cycle um there is like a map fast travel kind of system it's not fast travel per se it's a way to travel around the world which is really cool and uh we'll, we'll go through that as well but um what we're gonna do is i've just got the pieces left for the bakery so i am gonna go ahead and build this because oh no i need another five wheat okay so wheat is what i've been struggling with i've actually been struggling to find it to be honest with you um i feel like i need a shop but then i haven't been able to find a shop that sells wheat so i've kind of been looting buildings and stuff because uh and i'll show you but basically you can um 
yeah, you you can loot stuff and find stuff. I think we should go out because uh, we need to get uh, copper. And I think I know where I can get that from. So the way you do this, you go into what's called the overworld. And this, uh, and then uh, effectively you are on the map. It's kind of like a top-down version. You see this? And you can click, drag, move along, right? So then if you spin yourself around, you can see these are all places that you can travel to. So uh, where I've been going for stuff, and if you click like middle mouth button, it tells you like what's there effectively. So we haven't found anything over there, but I think you have to explore basically to find out. Anyway, uh, so if we effectively like click there and we say we're going over there, uh, what you do is you then camp into like where it is you want to go and you can mine from here as well You saw that pop up then it said like chop down trees uh, This obviously advances time because you're traveling through the world, but as I said you can actually um, Chop trees down and stuff. I think let's see if we can find a tree that's choppable here I don't have much logging skill, so I can only currently chop certain trees down. There may not be one nearby. There we go. And then you gain um, skills and then obviously you're logging here as well. So yeah, you can mine whilst you're in this mode. But it's really for kind of traveling. Now there is a, another town over there that I have recently visited. Uh, you can have bounties and everything as well. See what I mean? Um, it's pretty cool. That said upcoming events as well. Um, interestingly, if you go here, you'll see there are events on the map uh, and stuff going on at different places so um yeah it's pretty cool to be honest with you so as you can see now here we've got this button here that says camped so that is because we can now uh camp here and then effectively um yeah you can well go looking for stuff if you want to however uh i think i don't know if we can go I don't know where... Is there anything between... Alder Glen Woods. There's a quest over there. Okay, let's camp here for now. We'll go in here. Um, because I need to find some copper. I know there is copper around here. So, uh... Oh, there's a... Spiky plant. Well, that's okay. That's not aggressive. Cool. Uh, some of them are. You see these sparkly things? These are trees that you can basically chop and do stuff with. So, here we are. Uh, we are now in what I guess I would call the Lake District. <laughs> and uh, you see running increase there. There are goblins, baddies, bandits. You name it. Pretty much most things around. You can use magic, uh, spells... I quite like that spell because it basically creates a giant spike that sends them flying up into the air. Sometimes they drop things, sometimes they don't. Uh, depends. And then basically, yeah, we're going to have a look. See if we can actually find some copper or... So I'm currently using um, more ice magic is what I've gone into. Now you can train these skills with books in the library, which I didn't show you, which is a whole different other thing really cool uh show you guys that in just a second when we take our copper back i'll show you uh first of all i just want to that's coal but this is like copper down here and uh to harvest other stuff you need to gain levels so yeah basically you just do what you want you roam around loot stuff craft stuff which i think is the kind of quest that oh, i miss that that's okay it's gonna I can hear a dog. Yeah. Or something big. <gasps> Maybe it was that guy. I don't know. Did not sound friendly, did it? Uh, and every time you come to an area, it's different. Uh, I have been here a couple of times. And uh, that big guy there was not around here. Uh, there wasn't as many bandits, as many goblins. So stuff goes on. This brazier can be lit with a man fire torch, okay? Uh, different things happen at different times. And... I've got to be honest, it's kind of terrifying. Oh. 
So uh, with my ice spells, it basically makes them slip over a lot of the time. As you can see, they lose, <laughs> they lose their footing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the skills I'm using. There is um, weapon skills. Uh, let me show you here. So I have heavy sweep, which is currently with my sword at the moment. And I currently, I newly unlocked this skeleton. I can summon a skeleton. Uh, I haven't tried that out yet, so I guess we should, uh, we should try that out. Right, I'm just going to pick up, like, various things, because it's all good for potion crafting and stuff. And as I said to you, like I say, we can make, like... A lot of different stuff. I think this guy's. <laughs> Bonus. All right, and then uh, they're not actually dropping anything today. <laughs> Sometimes they do drop uh, like weapons or various things, which is pretty cool. This is stone. We need this for building stuff, so we might as well harvest this. I don't think... Yeah, mine requires mining level 4, so we can't harvest iron at the moment because our mining skill isn't uh, high enough. Never mind, it is now. So now we can, uh, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab this as well. I did find a tavern. Uh, in Aldgum, which is like a different kind of um, town with different shops and stuff. As I say, uh, so many quests, so many things. There are mounts in this game. That's what I forgot to show you, actually. Uh, there's mounts. Uh, I didn't realize I had a donkey. There is companions. And uh, then you've got like your, your bags and stuff and you've got like all these different uh, armor, all that kind of stuff. You can actually search as well, which is pretty cool. So... I love that. Um, you've got your gold over here. But yeah, uh, there is mounts. I didn't realize I had a donkey. Don't know when I got that. <laughs> okay, so we've now completed that quest. So we can go ahead and we'll uh, travel back. So let me show you. It's kind of cool. I really like this system, to be honest with you. So effectively... All these dungeons and stuff and like crypts and stuff. So uh, if you remember when we looked at the map, there's like a, in the place that we're actually a crypt in the, in the middle. I've been in there, there's skeletons and stuff um, here. Island crypt was pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, you can basically go through like dungeons and stuff. There's skellies and stuff in there, which is how I learned my summon skelly skill. So yeah, this is where we started, which is Iron Haven effectively. And so um, if we click over there, she'll start kind of running back in that direction. Now you can speed this up if you hold spacebar, which is pretty cool. Um, and like you see, you can you can harvest trees and stuff on your journey if you want to. But honestly, I get so wrapped up in doing other stuff. I tend to just, you know, roll backwards and forwards. There is a journal, like a quest journal and everything as well. So then once we get there, we just enter in. And honestly, the areas are pretty big. Uh, okay, so. I'll show you. We'll go for a run through the castle because sometimes uh, they have wheat in chests. So I go around kind of looting stuff because... Um, oh, you can... You can buy horses and stuff. That, so in this place here, uh, there's a stable construction here, look. Uh, I currently don't have anything to put in there right now. But there is also this place, which is supposed to be like a little market centre. Now, we just got a little bit of iron ore, so we can do that. Uh, I don't have anything else that I can put in there, unfortunately. So we'll just have to roll with that. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so now that you mine the coal and copper, you should have enough resources to keep copper ingots. Uh, create three copper ingots and bring them to me. So they have, uh, there's all these different crafting tables. So we're smelting level one. Here we go. See, new things here. All right, so that should be three. Hmm. 
Okay, so uh, copper is commonly used when crafting weapons, gadgets, I hear that the dwarves even use copper for parts. For now, let's start you off with simple, a copper short sword. Take this pine wood using the copper ingots and that wood, you should be able to make a copper short sword. Use the anvil. Okay, so this is what I mean, there's so much stuff to do. Weapon smithing, copper short sword. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, you have to push. Okay, so in the mini game, you'll be required to push W, A, S, or D at the right time. So you get your fingers ready. Keep your eye on the anvil. This is where the letter indicators will appear. Once the letter glows gold, press the corresponding letter successfully. With every successful hit, the weapon quality meter will increase. Reaching the quality thresholds will increase the weapon's quality. That's cool. All right. W, A, S, D. Right. Oh, I didn't see it. My, I was not ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> you need to be faster, but that's not a bad weapon. That's not a bad weapon. We made one. Counts, right? For our first attempt. All right, and then when they have question marks above their head, it means that they have new quests for you. So, for example, if we talk to this guy again, this guy is the chef. I really was hoping that I could buy stuff from him, but it doesn't look like I can. I think just need to harvest stuff. Anyway, if we speak to him. Uh, he wants some rare mushrooms. Oh, once you pick the mushroom, it could wake a spirit from beneath. Okay, I know a spot in mind where you can search at Wolf Dover Timberland. An old cemetery there in the centre of the woods. Wolf Dover Timberland. Okay, so there are like little markers. You can kind of see those little markers uh, on the map. But... Oh, he was showing us a shop. Sorry, that's why I was running back that way. Uh, so if we go to journal, you see that there are quests here and you can track these or untrack them, for example. Mine's currently, I don't know if you can re-judge them. Maybe not as of now. Anyway, it's trying to make me build the bakery, which I said uh, I couldn't do. But whilst I'm here, I did say I was going to go up here and just quickly show you, um up here so some of these um chests and stuff you can search and so if you search them you'll find this is the library i was talking about uh there are other libraries in the game apparently that that librarian was telling me you can learn uh from different books in different libraries and stuff and i'll show you because it's actually really cool but uh first of all look at this so uh you can because we're allowed to take from this castle, but there is stealing and stuff, so you have to be careful. We're allowed to take stuff from here, but uh, some places it counts as stealing, and obviously you don't want to be doing that. Oh, we'll take that. Um, but yeah, so I've been coming up here sneakily trying to find more wheat, because I don't know where else to get it from, and I need to build my bakery. So, that is what I've been doing. We still don't have enough. We need another five, and I have... We have three, so we just need another two now. So we'll just keep our eye out. Anyway, uh, let's go back down to the library and I'll show you guys um, learning for books. So you'll see that you have skills in different things. So as I was saying before, wrong screen, uh, magic here. I'm currently in cryomancy, which is ice. And then this is what I mean. There's then skill points into an every tree is a different thing. So for example, necromancy skills. Uh, same with melee weapons. One-handed daggers, staffs, two-handed weapons, for example, like I'm using here. And then you can basically have skills for those and all of them have skills. Um, so you can really build the character any way you want, literally, however you want, which is really cool. So what I was saying about the books, if you push here, you pick up a book, look at this. Right, and then you can take this book over here, pop the book on the desk, and then this is where it's really cool. You sit at the table, 
and it will tell you what books are on the table. Nearby books, cryomancy, okay? This is like ice, which is great because I need skills in that. Then you have this um, thing on the side and you basically have to decode. So uh, if you get it wrong, um, basically you don't get any XP. You can take your time. You can ignore this, but you do get a chain if you do it faster. But it's more beneficial to get it right. So um, you have to figure out what letter is what. Now, I've done it a couple of times, so I've kind of started to get used to some of the letters. Uh, K. Can't remember that one. Um, and then, yeah, you click through and I'll show you. Now, you can just keep going with this until it will run out of like runes on the board and then it will want to do a reshuffle. But you could just sit here and do this a lot. Um, or every so often when you decide you want to bait from traveling. Uh, where's that one? There we go. And then my cryomancy has actually increased to level four because I must have had enough ex experience. But effectively, this is what you do. And then you decode and you basically do the letters on the thing. And then you gain experience um, in that school of magic. Now, the cool thing is... He only really has, he told me before, like fire magic and ice magic in this library, but there are other libraries in the game with other versions of magic uh, that you can sit, learn skills and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool, uh, to be honest with you. Anyway, school caps. So we needed to go to, where did he say? Because I've already forgotten. Wolf Dover Timberland. So if we go back to the overworld. I need to find where that is. Over there. So this is what I mean. We're now going to go traveling. Ancient Tower Ruins, Long Forgotten Abbey, Abbey Graveyard, Ongoing Quest, School Caps. So they kind of show on the map when you have a quest uh in an area but yeah so effectively we're now gonna we're gonna go i have not been over here before so this will be interesting and then once you're in you would camp and now we just we're free to explore so there's all kinds of stuff here apparently including a graveyard which is apparently what we should be looking for. I'm going to take my weapon out because, yeah, I don't trust stuff. So. Let's have a mooch around. There's also, as you can see, like, uh, other animals and stuff. There are bows and arrows in the game. Uh, yeah. A whole ton of stuff. It's actually pretty crazy. So I'm looking for a graveyard. Now you'll understand what I mean when I say the areas are actually bigger than you think they are. What's that place over there? I don't know. It's not a graveyard, but it is a random hut. So let's head over here. Looks like it's someone's like house and farm. <sighs> Hello? Doesn't appear to be anybody home. I'm looking for wheat. <laughs> Just gonna walk in and there's a bare hand in there. What on earth? I have a deer as a friend that's moosing around. Right, okay. Was that that plant? What just hit me? Is that a moving mushroom? You guys, honestly, that thing was moving. I'm gonna head over here because yeah, that looks interesting. Is this a skullcap mushroom? 
Whoa! Wow. I got ragdolled. Okay, we're still okay, I think. Okay, those things are dangerous. That's interesting. All right. Let's have a look. See if we can see from top down. Sometimes you can see. Ancient tower. Abbey graveyard. So I think that yeah, I think we need to go, like, way further down here. So we'll try this and see. Okay, I don't think you can do it that way. I think you actually have to physically explore your way down. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just go down the path because I think it's at the bottom of the path and left because you can kind of see on the map. Because uh, as I say, there's not really like a map per se. Or not one that I found anyway that I'm aware of. Okay, we've already got different stuff because he wasn't there before. Oh, he's a boss. He's a bandit. Okay, now you understand <laughs> why I love my ice spells so much. <laughs> there are more bandits. How much health have they got? I love sending them flying with that ice thing. It's so much fun. And then as you can see, they slip over because they get re really... They get all icy and slippy, which is cool. All right, so uh, we're just going to continue to follow this. Uh, there's things on the trees. Do you reckon if you hit that with a weapon, it'd open something? Oh. Oh, now I'm being attacked by wolves. Where does he land? <laughs> okay, he went flying so high I didn't even see where he landed. See if we can find the graveyard real quick. Um... tell if I've gone the right way or not. Um... Yeah, it's kind of like down and to my left. I wonder if it's possible if we like click over it, can we enter... I don't know if it's possible. I just want to test it. I don't know. This might put us back like at the beginning, but I thought it'd be worth a test to see if that's possible to do or not. No, I think we're back at the... Okay. Anyway, you get the general gist. Um, there's all kinds of stuff and you kind of have to explore around. But uh, yeah, I really think that this game is pretty awesome. Uh, obviously, there's still some work to be done on it. It is a work in progress, as, as I'm sure you can see. Um, 
but it's really cool and i personally really love this game i think i could sink so many hours into this so yeah anyway guys i'm gonna leave this video here don't forget if you like the video to hit the like button and subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next video cheers guys